Today, I'm going to perform an ultrasound guided evaluation of the anterior cruciate ligament of the knee. As you know, the anterior cruciate ligament is one of the intra-articular ligaments of the knee. There are two intra-articular, that means ligaments within the cavity of the knee joint. One is the anterior cruciate ligament and the second one is the posterior cruciate ligament of the knee. The anterior cruciate ligament is the more commonly injured knee ligament in sports injuries. And uh, today I have got a basketball or a young man who was playing basketball and injured his knee. He has come to me from Bangalore. I am going to introduce you to him and we will hear his story and then we will proceed to evaluate his uh, right knee mm -hmm. now under ultrasound. Welcome to my clinic, uh, Animesh. How are you today? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good to meet you, doctor. What's your problem, Animesh? So, I uh, two and a half years ago, while playing basketball, I got hit on my knee by another player. Mm. And there was, at, at that instant only, there was very instability in my knee. I couldn't walk. Mm. Uh, the knee, there was sliding and there was giving away in the knee. Mm. But after a year, it went away. I could walk and do most of the stuff. But still, I cannot play basketball. And while stopping, like <clears throat> I cannot de-accelerate. Or I cannot jump, explode up. So, mm. still I am having a bit of instability in my knee. So, I got to know about Dr. Venkatachalam from YouTube. And I saw many patient reviews. That's why I came to him. Where have you come from actually? Uh, Actually, my hometown is in West Bengal. Ah. I came to... Bang what are you where? But are you living in West Bengal? or No, where I'm it? living in Bangalore. Correct. Where? Which part of Bangalore? I'm living in Belandur. Belandur. You are studying in Belandur in yeah. Bangalore? Yeah. Okay. So, you come today from Bangalore. Uh, you, you are 23 years old. You are still a student. But you want to play basketball. Yeah. And uh, remain active in sports. So, and... Uh, Probably you have undergone an MRI which I have not looked at. I will be first doing the other exam. I have already examined you and I will be doing the ultrasound examination. Then we will go through your MRI scans. Uh, so you are probably looking for a treatment which does not involve surgery that is a ACL, surgical ACL reconstruction. Yeah, exactly. Is that right? Yeah. So what are you actually looking for? So I am looking for looking to play as no no in terms of treatment uh, in terms of treatment i am looking to heal the if uh, i have a broken ligament or something i want to heal it naturally rather than surgery naturally once this ligament is torn it very rarely heals by itself because it is inside the joint and when uh, it is injured the blood uh, will wash the uh, collection of blood will be washed away by movements of the knee and so the ends of the ligament rarely heal. Sometimes they can heal and there are proven results of uh, natural healing of the ligament. So we'll see uh, what is the degree of uh, instability. We'll check on the uh, ultrasound scan. You will also be able to see that mm -hmm. and, uh, and see if the sheath, there is a protective, there is a covering around the ligament. So we'll see if that sheath is intact and if the ligament ends are not separated widely, if they are not, then you are in luck and we will be able to maybe uh, treat it uh, by as you desire, like, you know, biological injection, either blindly or by keyhole surgery or whatever. So the next stage, next step for you today, having come to the hospital, is to take you to the radiology department, ultrasound room, where with the help of the radiologist, we will conduct an ultrasound examination of your knee and document the findings. Is that fine with you? Yeah. Okay. We are going to do an ultrasound examination of the knee. The right knee, right knee is the one involved. The left knee is not involved. To do an ultrasound examination of the knee, we bend the knee to 90 degrees. Then on the machine, I have set the probe, I have set the settings to I have chosen MSK General. I am using the linear probe with lots of jelly. And uh, the aspect of the probe, there is a groove over here. That will be pointing towards the head end of the patient. And I have already chosen the depth. 
and uh, you can see on the monitor that uh, when I tap, tap here, this part of the screen is getting uh, indented. I'm taking plenty of gel because we will be tilting the probe to visualize the intra-articular structure. I'm taking the probe now and I'm holding the probe between my thumb, index and middle fingers and keeping the rest two fingers on the B. So now I'm applying the probe. So um, you are able to see the structure is there. That is the patella. That's the tip of the patella. And the fibrillar structure running from below the patella to here. This is the tibial fibrosity in the bone. Uh, that's the tibial fibrosity. And the structure which is running. running in between the fibrillar structure from that bone apex of patella to here that is the patellar tendon okay and then the bone which you are seeing here is the tibia to now you are able to see the patellar tendon and to now we, we, we keep that in mind and from here with reference to that patellar tendon we are going to visualize the ACL so here to visualize the ACL, keeping the cephalic end of the probe steady, and I'm going to tilt the caudal end like that, like that, inwards, and and tilt the probe, tilt the probe. So here you are able to see the ACL, which is supposed to take origin from the tibial tuberosity. And you can see that the ACL is, you can see, see that the ACL and now I am going to do a drawer sign by pulling the tibia forward. So I am pulling the tibia forward. So as I move the tibia forward, you can see that the tibia, the tibia came in then the bone. Ah, the tibia subluxates forward. And there is a discontinuity of the AC. Right? There is a blank space there. So again, I'm repeating the test. You can see the ACL is not intact. Yeah. There is anterior translation of the tibia due to malfunctioning ACL. The existing MRI scan shows the discontinuity of the ACL at the femoral origin. I will be advising the patient on the best treatment for him keeping in mind his age. To watch more videos, subscribe. See you in next video. Bye for now.